It's a big NFL on both sides type of, 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 the, of the NFL of landscape. City. People, People believe, believe that the, the AFC, AFC championship a little bit differently has now an wide the open first side time been hitting that receivers in stride. Welcome to X Knows the Joes. I'm Coach Gene Clemens. It's a big NFL championship type of weekend coming up. NFC championships and AFC championships. And if you look on both sides of the, of the NFL landscape, people think that the AFC championship has a chance to be one-sided with Kansas City. People believe that the NFC championship has an opportunity to be one-sided with San Francisco. But there are some things that the Green Bay Packers are doing a little bit differently now than the first time that they met in week 12 that has been helping them have a lot of success, and that is the play-action game. They have been running play-action so well that they've either been hitting receivers wide open or they've been hitting receivers in stride short underneath that allows them to run after the catch. So what I want to do is I want to show you three different formations and play actions that Green Bay has run that they've had success with. And then I'm going to show you how San Francisco is going to align to those formations and how they're going to look to exploit San Francisco as they try to run their play action game. So stay tuned. It should be a really, really exciting um, session. This is X and O's the Joes. So this is how one of the formations the Green Bay Packers were using last week in their victory over the Seattle Seahawks. Um, if you look at the way the Seattle are aligned with their classic cover three shell, they brought the linebacker down and reduced to this side. Now, what Green Bay did was they brought this guy in motion and set him up right there. So now they're in a balanced set. There was really no reason for Seattle to adjust to this, so they stayed how they were. They were in a balanced set. And then what Green Bay did was they ran their normal um, zone running play, outside zone, Action from everybody, boom. Here's your running back attacking outside. Here's Aaron Rodgers here with the boot around. This guy came on that 10 yard drag. This guy did what we, I like to call a push corner. He pushed inside and then came back out to run that corner route. And this guy who shifted from here to here came back underneath, leaped out into the flats. This guy blocked. And then if that guy went away, just kind of leaped and sat right in here. So Aaron Rodgers has levels. One, two, three. Cornerback drops. The cornerback actually dropped. He rolled with this guy. This guy was here. Safety was over the top. And what Adams ended up doing, number 17, Adams, what he ended up doing, he ended up settling down in here, and Aaron Rodgers was able to rifle a laser into him to pick up that 10 yards. But they got him with the full flow, everybody going this way, including an eligible receiver and the wide receiver that was split out. Now, they're tighters, but everybody went that way. So the action to the defense said, it's coming this way. All they're trying to do is get this guy, this guy, and these guys to just commit this way so that they can get leverage on them over here. He really wants to go top down with this thing. He turns and looks. If that's not there, he wants to come directly to the drag. If not, maybe a dump off here. The backside back does that, and then he kind of leaks out here. That way, if everything goes wrong, he can quickly look backside and see if he can hit this back in the backfield to try to pick up some dirty yards. One. Now what I expect San Francisco to do is align to this very similar to the way they aligned to this in week 12. If you notice, I've already put this receiver who was over here over here. You can see they're aligning to this side because that's where they've been running their zone. They want to boot to the field side so they've been running a lot of zone week. Now, 
when they do this, notice that they're essentially giving up the flat. They're saying, hey, you know what? If you're going to beat us somewhere, you're going to beat us to the in the flat because I believe that San Francisco thinks that they can bend but don't break. And if they wait long enough, they're going to make a play that puts Green Bay in a dis disadvantage. So they're going to give this up and rally to it. But you can see by alignment, they're going to take away this push, this push corner, just simply off alignment. So when he comes in here, boom, here, that corner is going to be on it over the top. This guy is coming down here, very similar to what they did versus the Seahawks. Everybody's coming this way. This guy back underneath in the flat. This guy over the top at 10. So now he's going to be bracketed by that guy and that guy. You've got the, you've got the free safety over the top as well. Now they can rally if Aaron Rodgers decides that he's going to throw this flat. They can rally to that flat. They've got the safety, they've got the corner, they've got the backer that can all come to that flat and only give up three, four yards. But what you can expect to see is that when they go play action, anytime Aaron Rodgers turns away from an end, this end is screaming not for the back, but he is screaming for Aaron Rodgers because they know that San Francisco, I mean, excuse me, San Francisco knows that Green Bay, they get a lot of plays off of play action under center. So why would you not send somebody directly for the quarterback to make sure that when he comes off that play fake, boom, he sees somebody in his face. Now a right-handed, a right-handed Aaron Rodgers has to try to throw it towards the field without being able to turn his shoulders and do so the way in which that he needs to in order to be successful. So I see them running this. Aaron Rodgers is going to have to throw that really quick into the flat. They're going to rally to that on the other end. And that's how they're going to de defend the Green Bay Packers in this formation. Now let's look at a couple other formations. Three, two, one. Now what I expect San Francisco to do is align to this very similar to the way they aligned to this in week 12. If you notice, I've already put this receiver who was over here, over here. You can see they're aligning to this side because that's where they've been running their zone. They want to boot to the field side, so they've been running a lot of zone week. Now, when they do this, notice that they're essentially giving up the flat. They're saying, hey, you know what? If you're going to beat us somewhere, you're going to beat us to the in the flat because I believe that San Francisco thinks that they can bend but don't break. And if they wait long enough, they're going to make a play that puts Green Bay in a dis disadvantage. So they're going to give this up and rally to it. But you can see by alignment they're going to take away this push, this push corner, just simply off alignment. So when he comes in here, boom, here, that corner is going to be on it over the top. This guy is coming down here, 
very similar to what they did versus the Seahawks. Everybody's coming this way. This guy back underneath in the flat. This guy over the top at 10. So now he's going to be bracketed by that guy and that guy. You've got the, you've got the free safety over the top as well. Now they can rally if Aaron Rodgers decides that he's going to throw this flat. They can rally to that flat. They've got the safety, they've got the corner, they've got the backer that can all come to that flat and only give up three, four yards. But what you can expect to see is that when they go play action, anytime Aaron Rodgers turns away from an end, this end is screaming not for the back, but he is screaming for Aaron Rodgers because they know that San Francisco, I mean, excuse me, San Francisco knows that Green Bay, they get a lot of plays off of play action under center. So why would you not send somebody directly for the quarterback to make sure that when he comes off that play fake, boom, he sees somebody in his face. Now a right-handed, a right-handed Aaron Rodgers has to try to throw it towards the field without being able to turn his shoulders and do so the way in which that he needs to in order to be successful. So I see them running this. Aaron Rodgers is going to have to throw that really quick into the flat. They're going to rally to that on the other end. And that's how they're going to de defend the Green Bay Packers in this formation. Now let's look at a couple other formations. One, here's another formation that they ran their zone um, boot, or not boot, but their, their zone play action out of. And this time, they were looking to hit big. And so if you look at this kind of bunch formation they have over here with their tight end away, what they did was is they were looking to run the action towards the bunch. So they had their zone running this way. He came across blocking, not even looking to get into the route. This guy ran vertical. This guy ran a pipe route and sat down in the middle. We've got our back pressing here. Aaron Rodgers deep, but then just he didn't boot. He came with his fake, and then he got into what many of you consider to be like a seven-step drop, essentially. He came in and boom, set up. The action and the flow kept this guy honest on the backside because he had to be wary of that guy leaking out, made these linebackers have to come down. This safety had to work over the top to protect here, and this guy was sitting wide open in the middle of the field. That's an easy pitch and catch for Aaron Rodgers. Nothing really difficult about that. Came off the play action, boom. Hit him right there, easy pitch and catch, nothing that Seattle could do about it, had a lot of success with it. So this is how you can expect San Francisco to most likely to line up to this formation. Notice that they've got somebody over number one making that release a lot more difficult. They also have a more cover three-like shell on this side, or at least a quarter half or quarter quarter type of look probably allowing this guy on this side to sink back into this, into this position. So how does this help them? We remember we told them, we told you that San Francisco is going to let them take the little yards, let them get the little yards. Well, in this play, Green Bay, they don't have any short yardage stuff. This guy's going vertical, and that guy will be right with him over the top this guy has really no other responsibility than the middle of the field. So when this guy runs that pipe route and he sinks to his deep, to his deep middle, he's going to be able to rally right to that before that guy can have an opportunity to get open. Now, over here, with our guy coming and motioning to block, it's not going to matter because whatever they had in place, 
They were going to give up this flat anyway, but Green Bay doesn't have the flat. So everyone here is coming, blocking, and I can guarantee you that when they come like this, somebody is coming off edge to go and get Aaron Rodgers. Because every time they, Aaron Rodgers turns his back to these guys, they want him to turn into a 49er in his face, therefore not giving him enough time to set up and hit this before this free safety has an opportunity to drive on it. Now they're making life a lot more difficult for Aaron Rodgers. Now this is where I believe Green Bay has a great opportunity to have success, and that is out of their um, 12 personnel, double tight ends, where both of these guys are weapons. They've got their receivers in short. They're not out split out wide, they're split short. This is how Seattle chose to take this on. They had a lot of success off of this, and I'll show you exactly how they did it. They came with their normal zone action, excuse me, came with their normal zone action this way. And be but before the snap, this guy came in motion this way. Pre-snap, he starts coming in motion. On the snap, he's moving with this motion this way. The back attacks outside like normal zone. Aaron Rodgers, play fake, tight end, comes the, the, the tight end on the play side, comes to work back to the back side on this drag at about 10 to 12. But this guy... This receiver on the snap comes all the way underneath. And because they've committed so many to the line of scrimmage, when Aaron Rodgers comes off, and I think I want to say they, they put pressure in his face, when he comes off, he's able to dump it to that guy, and that guy is able to run for a long time. This is something that they haven't shown until last week. So it'll be interesting to see what San Francisco does to align to it. But... It's just another way that Green Bay can beat you with play action. They've got multiple formations. They love to run that zone play action out of it, whether it be the boot or whether it be the setup for the long bomb down the field. So it'll be really interesting to see the chess match that San Francisco and Green Bay have. I know that San Francisco, would, however they align to this, you can guarantee Wherever Aaron Rodgers turns his back to, wherever his back is, there will be pressure coming. So if I'm your quarterback, and I know we love to do this, right? So I open up, and you're the back, and I'm here. You can expect some type of pressure coming because when he turns to open up, they want to have somebody in his face so that he throws an errant pass or he has to get rid of it before he's ready to. That's just one of those ways that they're going to be able to affect Aaron Rodgers. So that's it for X and O's to Joe's. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our family. If there's any of these play actions that you like, there's no reason why you can't add these things to your um, playbook. It's not like the Green Bay Packers have these things patented and nobody else can use them. If you run a zone system, you're probably running something similar to this already, but maybe you don't have the, right, or the route combinations that you like. Feel free to take those and employ them yourselves. Maybe you're not using more tight end formations. Add some tight end formations in. There's always an opportunity to get better, especially for many of the football around the country starting to crank up that spring season for people who have spring season. So enjoy the playoffs this week. Go Packers. Go 49ers. I wish both of them the best. For X and O's to Joe's, this has been Coach Gene Clements.